Welcome to CAD Concepts. Today we will explore 10 AutoCAD Lisp Auto Dimensions. How we can automate most of the dimension process using this protein. So, without wasting time, let's begin. Number 1 Dimension Curve. This complete curve, okay. We will provide curve dimension. Let this dim curve. Click over the curve, continue, and choose offset distance for dimension. This curve length 198.41. You are getting curve dimension. If you will take list detail, we must have same length, okay. Now, this is our 198.4113. We are getting same length. So, curve dimension will help you to find out arc P line curve in one time. Dim curve, click over the P line and take offset distance. Number two. Count rectangle dimension. This multiple rectangle we have, we will take dimension. Let this rig dimension select all the dimension, click over the point. You are getting length, width as per dimension color. And if you have similar number of dimension, you will get number of pieces. You can simply extract your Rectangle dimension with similar count, length and width in complete table. This list help you if you have multiple plot, okay? Number 3. P-line angle dimension. In case if you have irregular plot or anything, let this multiple, okay? DPLA command. Select your close P line. See what happened exactly. You are getting angular dimension each and every angle in just one time by clicking over the P line. Means if you have angular plot and you want to check out its angle just by using P line. Number 4. Dimension mask. These dimensions we have, including hash, we want to provide customized mask. Okay, let this dim mask choose color code. Let this one for red mask offset 1.5. Select all. Okay, and hit enter. See what happened exactly. We have chosen color code 1 means red color with dimension mask. Let this again color code now 2. Offset same select all hit enter. Now color code 2 your yellow color same again color code 3 same offset distance select all and hit enter. So as much as color code you have in AutoCAD, you can choose particular dimension mask color. And yes, you have option to choose mask offset also. Let this color code 151 randomly, okay. Select all, hit enter. See, you are getting as per that color code. Number 5. Dimension arc. Usually we provide arc length, right? Like this. Take arc and place like this. This is our traditional method, right? But here we are going to do something differently, okay? Type DIMA command, hit enter, or right click also. Click over the midpoint, your arc midpoint. Now let this first point, second arc point, 
this is our angle 104 angle okay and hit enter one more time to get your particular two point arc length so the length we have chosen at that point that is 48.69 and if you'll take our angle angle already show 104 right it must be 104 as you see here same as it is let this once again d i m a click over the point first arc point second arc point first it will let your angle so the angle is 142 okay hit enter the length is 66.59 yes you have option to place text positioning first you have to choose base point total length and then you have to provide your arc dimension this way number six dimension overlap in case anywhere any overlapping dimension we will check out okay let this dim overlap nothing you have to do if you see here the overlapped dimension got in red color means it identify already same again dim overlap now you see here means you will get different layer for that particular dimension in case if there any overlapping dimension number seven auto dimensions maximize type ad interval time select all hit enter as much as block you have you will get each and every block your complete dimension in just one time as much as vertexes you have arc circle line p line whatever for example we have random plot area like this okay we want to find out each vertex is ad select all hit enter now you see here means you can simply place your number of dimension whether arc circle straight linear dimension in just one time entirely number eight dimension difference usually what we do for linear dimension these two dimension we are getting different different value plus y and plus x what this mean exactly let this straight y and straight x okay now you see 30 34.39 you are getting straight to y now we will check straight to x plus 34.42 means this is your dimension difference straight to x straight to y in case any angular line you have you want to check out x y difference for example this is our y difference 48.37 in plus direction okay now we want to check out x difference let this here first point second point and go like this so x gap we are getting 64 point number nine dimension fix usually how we measure there is simple linear dimension right we have to take first point second point then choose the spacing this is the traditional method right otherwise hit enter select line then go like this with dimension fix we have something different let this dim fix l okay just click over the line 
it will adjust your dimension spacing as you see here just you have to click one time over the line it will adjust your spacing means not required any movement same as it is other one let this dim fix t okay now you have to choose first point second point same it will place no any movement for spacing for dimension offset so dimension fix will help you just by clicking over the line number 10 dimension lock these dimensions we are getting but if i will stretch up stretch down the value will change as usual okay how about locking text value means whatever you extend nothing will happen the text will be same as it is for entire dimension okay we'll see very simply let this here ldim command select all hit enter the story change wherever you want to stretch you can stress simply if you see here your dimension value constant so if you want to fix dimension value i hope you got this video helpful must explore 200 plus advanced automation task this book will explain with facts and figure along with lisp and vlx files you can also explore advanced automation task comprehensive course you can find the link in description if you wish to support cat concepts you are great welcome to join membership definitely your support is the reason cat concepts exist thank you so much for joining membership yes if you have any interesting idea any list that you wish to explore with cat concepts definitely you can mention in comment box if you have anywhere any doubt must leave your comment as soon as possible i will reply your query thanks for watching see you in next video with another topic